Hey, hello everyone. I am Ajay. In this video, I am going to show you how to uh, attach event listener to dynamically created element using jQuery. So he here is an example. You can see I am I am inserting this element dynamically when button is clicked, and uh, whenever I click on this this uh, dynamically inserted element, you can see you can see the his color will be changed. So let's see how to achieve this. So first of all I have, clear, I have created this page this outer uh, outer view which is border using CSS and this is button and I have uh, attached a click li event listener to, to this uh, button so so let's uh, change to this add label so whenever I click on this button so whenever, whenever I click on this button the element will be uh, adding here which is due which is inner due here you can see here you can see my previous video uh, how to add dynamic element in jQuery so let's add event listener on for this uh, dynamically created element so first of all let's add simple event listener and see what's happen if uh, we add simple event listener and so I'm going to add simple click event to this uh, newly created element and let's change uh, the <coughs> background color of that uh, this uh, due whenever I click on this due so I am using e dot target uh, property so that only targeted uh, element elements color will be background color will be changed and using CSS method for that background property and its value will be light blue color let's see and see what happened first of all right uh, for plenty of elements and then when I click you can see nothing nothing is going to happen because of this uh, this normal um, event event handler will not work on the dynamic dynamically created element so for that we have to use uh, on method of jQuery so here is syntax of on method first of all let's delete this uh, this uh, and insert on function method and uh, there will be three parameter in this uh, on method first event that you want to in, uh, attach in this case we are going to attach click event and then second parameter <coughs> should be uh, selector name so in this case we are going to add event listener to this inner inner view so that's why I'm going I'm going I have inserted uh, inner class this class which is inner and then function that that will be that will be execute whenever that this click event is fire so let's save and let's see what's happen you can see here one more thing that's uh, <coughs> you should be consider that uh, here in selector you should specify document so this all element will be inserted into document and whenever you click on document and uh, in document that's inner uh, do inner element then this click event will be fired so uh, let's see what happened now now simply click on this element you can see the color of that element will be changed and have changed so for 
dynamically inserted element we used on method which has three parameters you can skip uh, one of these parameters which is a uh, specifier so that this uh, if you remove this this uh, uh, this specifier parameter so docu the click event will be attached to whole document instead of this specify specified element so thank you for watching here is my JS Twitter example I am going to share this link in description below so you can check this you can check that link so thank you for watching